You're watching WCSD from Callaway County High School. Welcome back to our first episode of this new semester. We hope you've enjoyed your two weeks of break, but now it's time to get back to business. That's right, Brian. This is the first of many more episodes to come for this year, 2015, although some of our staff, including you, Brian, won't be with us when fall comes around. Sadly, yes, but as they say in the theater, the show must go on. It's something a lot of people have, but nobody wants it. We're talking about the flu, and it's our top story today on Laker TV. State health officials report that 26 Kentuckians have died so far this season with flu-related sicknesses. In fact, it's been running rampant around Western Kentucky the past few weeks. And standing by is Zach Olava with more about the latest flu epidemic. Some people think the flu is just sneezing, coughing, and all that other junk. Well, Miss Williams is here to set the record straight. Miss Williams, what is the flu? Well, actually, the flu is influenza type A or B. A lot of people miss construe the flu and what it means. The real flu is fever, coughing, sneezing, sick at your stomach, severe headache, you're so tired, you know, you don't even want to do anything. The stomach flu, as a lot of people say, is just the stomach virus. A cold not accompanied with any fever is not the flu. The flu is spread in respiratory droplets in the air and by touching. It's very easily contagious so that is why we have to take so many precautions at school but in a school system where there are so many people together and you know people are sharing you know pencils and pens and this year the CDC which is the Center for Disease Control located in Atlanta they are predicting a severe flu season so um, I hope that we don't see that at Callaway County. That's why we offer flu shots uh, to all our students and faculty and staff. We did that in October, so we would really like to see more people take, you know, advantage of that. But a lot of people didn't, so. For Laker TV, I'm Zach Halava. Nurse Williams also offers these tips to avoid getting the flu or to avoid giving it to the rest of us in the building. Wash your hands often with soap and water. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, or mouth. Cover your nose and mouth when coughing or sneezing. And if you have a fever, stay home until you can at least you can go at least 24 hours without a fever. If you want more facts about the flu, you can go online and visit flu.gov. Students interested in the Spanish language or Latin America might want to consider joining CUNA this year, where students will be mock representing the Dominican Republic at a fake UN meeting. Bobby Brashear tells us more. Kentucky United Nations Assembly, otherwise known as CUNA, is a statewide program offered at Callaway that many don't know about. We've represented countries in the past like Japan, Australia, Nicaragua, and Indonesia. Uh, our Indonesia group, by the way, came back with the best country, and they're competing with um, uh, schools from all over the state of Kentucky. CUNA convention is held in Louisville, Kentucky every year in March. You get to see, like, the culture of each country in a way, so that's really cool. Uh, it's a lot of fun for the kids to go there and uh, pretend to be, uh, in this case, for this year, the Dominican Republic. We want students who are willing to put themselves in an uncomfortable position in a room full of strangers and uh, come up with a point of view. And that, I think, is a very good skill set for when they get out of school. Then there's like stage performances, which are sometimes really fun. Um, I participated in those before. Last year, I was a dancer. I really love Kuna. I, en I encourage anyone to join and participate. It's just a three-day um, fun conference that we go to. For Like Your TV, I'm Bobby Brashear. This year's Kuna event will be held on March 8th through the 10th in Louisville. It's open to all sophomores, juniors, and seniors. If it sounds like something you would be interested in, attend the meeting today after school at 310 in Mr. Ward's room. Attention all animal lovers. There are dozens of dogs and cats without a family and too many stuck in animal shelters around the world. You could be the change and help out our local animal shelter by just volunteering or maybe even adopting a pet of your own. Let's go to Haley Bergman for more on the story. Today, women can do So what are some of the animal shelter's primary needs and how can students get involved? Anybody can come to our shelter 
any time of the day. We're open um, during our opening hours. We're open from Monday through Friday, 10 to 4, Saturday, 10 to 3. Uh, Walk-ins are welcome. Come socialize our animals, walk them on leashes, pet them if you want to bathe them. That's awesome. We also need help taking pictures for Facebook and Pet Finder to get them out to get them adopted. We need fosters always. We need homes for animals that are from the shelter, from the community, puppies, kittens. What are you guys in need of as far as supplies? Always in need of blankets, um, toys for the animals, collars and leashes, um, and let's see, litter, cat litter. We can always use that in cat toys. The uh, Humane Society also offers a spay and neuter program where they give half off. Education is key with our community. Um, overpopulation is a big problem with us. So spay and neuter and microchip your pets. For Laker TV, I'm Haley Bergman. How could you resist that face? The animal shelter is always in need of volunteers. If you're interested in helping out these furry friends, show up at any time and they'll put you to work. And don't forget, if you're looking for a pet, consider adoption of an orphan at the local animal shelter. Coming up after the break, we go behind the scenes with the latest iTunes chart topper. And find out how some students are spending their lunch time to work on their spiritual life. All coming up next on Laker TV. Today, women can do anything men can do. And there's one thing we're even better at. This Wednesday, the academic team traveled to Paducah to compete in the WKCTC President's Cup, where the quick recall team placed third overall. Also, Eric McCulchick placed first in math, with team member Sam Moorhead finishing only three places behind him in fourth place. Martin McCulchick took first place in science, and Haley Bergman had a third place finish in arts and humanities. We all want to talk to talk, but do we really walk the walk? The Unashamed Bible Study here at Callaway County gives students an opportunity to recharge their faith. Week by week, the meetings help bring together friends for a common cause. We go to Kennedy Kelly with the story. God is love. A popular program that is offered here at Callaway High is a Bible study held once a week during lunch. So well, I think the thing about us is that we're just a group of students who just want to praise and worship God and we have God in our lives and having God in your life is something that everybody so needs. Showing us mercy and love even though the we Legacy for Press Bible study is God's held every Wednesday during first and second lunch in either Coach Civil's or Miss Fritchie's classroom. I think uh, what inspired me the most was that we had students that came to me first and asked about the idea of doing this and I told them that it was a wonderful in idea. In recent weeks there has been an average uh, of 25 students that attend each Bible study including freshmen KK Evans. Um, I just like the feeling of just taking a break from all the school and stress and homework and all that kinds of stuff that we have to get done in the day and just taking time to acknowledge God and thank Him for all the blessings He gives me every day. I'm very blessed to be part of a school that offers the opportunity for students to do that. This is Kennedy Kelly reporting for Laker TV. If you're interested, officials say you can still join these students any Wednesday during first or second lunch in either Ms. Fritchie's or Coach Civil's classroom. Topping the charts is Bagok's new hot hit single, Let It Go. One of our Laker TV staff people had the opportunity to have a sit-down interview with the highly renowned artist. Here's a little look at Bagok and the new hit single. So, how's your new hit single, Let It Go? Let It Go? You know, I think it's some of the best work I've ever done. Snow glows white on the mountain tonight, not a footprint to be seen. Really proud of it, and uh... Yeah, I feel like it's going to sell the most it's ever sold. A kingdom of isolation, and it looks like I'm the queen. Ever? Any of my albums, ever? The wind is howling like this swirling storm inside. It's me. I mean, I'm Bagat. <clears throat> let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Let it go. <coughs> we seem to be uh, experiencing some technical difficulties.
Well, that was interesting. Very. <laughs> well, it looks like that wraps up this episode. We hope you've enjoyed it. But the excitement doesn't stop here. Be sure to come to the game tonight to support the basketball teams as they face off against 4th District rival Marshall County. It will be a doubleheader and the girls tip off at 6 o'clock right here at Callaway County High School. We'll see you all again next week. But until then, farewell, Laker Nation. Have a great weekend. Some people think the flu is just sneezing.